it is the final run-in, it's the final two weeks leading up to the presidential election, and the candidates are making their final push to what's become a very tight race. Last night, the far-right candidate Marine Le Pen said that fighting terrorism must involve preventing Muslim communities from imposing their way of life on France. She also called on multiculturalism as a soft weapon for Islamic extremists. A multicultural society is a multi-conflict society. The struggle against the constitution of community which already exists in France, which must be a priority of the next president of the republic. Let's bring David Stubbs back into the conversation with this risk is rising. Um, it's a real four-way race now. Mélenchon is in the ascendance. Um, just how risky is it going to get? Are we going to go into the, the, those last two weeks of real risk off? Yeah, I, I, I don't really see uh, a way uh, for markets not to worry about this election uh, up until the, the end of the second round. Even if you get a cent, one of the two centrists in with Marine Le Pen, there's still going to be the theory that the, there's this huge shy you know, Le Pen voter surge coming, and until that you know, absolutely doesn't happen, there will be some people who distrust the polls, even though they show this huge uh, you know, uh, margin of victory for, uh, for, for say, if it, say, if it was Macron over her. What, of course, is the, is the, the, the really uncertain result if it's uh, Mélenchon and, and Le Pen in, uh, in the runoff. There, you know, um, the, the polls are not really clear about who would win um, in, in the second round. You'd certainly have um, a, a, a really incredible choice face, facing the French people. I, I absolutely would uh, you, uh, believe that risk premium across the most European asset markets would rise under that scenario. Uh, the question investors have to, you know, have to ask themselves is, you know, even in that scenario, is Le, is Le Pen likely to win? And, and secondly, um, you know, is the prize for of European asset markets and the potential of their return over the next three to five years, you know, is that prize good enough to deal with this risk in, in the short term? Almost everywhere I go, uh, in clients, both institutional and, and retail, are looking uh, at, at potentially putting money to work after the French election in European assets because they see that potential. They're just worried about the risk in the, in the short term. What's your concern about uh, Melanchon, and I'm kind of asking you to do my job for me a little bit because we're going to talk to a Melanchon advisor a little bit later on. But look, with Le Pen, we all understand the incredible risks getting out of the euro, defaulting on French debt, etc., not to mention the nationalist issues, um, and etc. But what is your concern with the far left coming in, and is it as bad as the far right? I don't think that you know, it, it kind of injects the uh, you know, collapse of, of the institutional framework which Le Pen potentially would. Um, but that doesn't mean that it would be greeted uh, well by, you know, by markets. So, of course, we've seen uh, you know, with the, the current president, Prince, uh, President Hollande, who came in with a lot of um, quite progressive left of center views and, and tried to implement quite, uh, you know, uh, quite a, a significant uh, pol uh, policy pl uh, platform with some socialist uh, you know, uh, you know, hints there. And that was seen you know, by the markets as a, as a failure. You had to reverse course uh, after the first year or so in, in office. Uh, the big question, of course, is, you know, um, for investors is, you know, what would uh, a, a socialist set of policies do to uh, France's investi investability? I think investors would be very worried about um, a turn away from more market-friendly policies. It might be good for, for, for France. I'm not going to make a judgment on that. But, but in terms of, of the attractiveness of, uh, for investors, I think they'd be quite concerned if they saw more regulation in the labor market, uh, you know, a, a, an unwillingness to tackle the pension burden, for example. 